Bro, this figure makes me feel like, like when you play Mario Kart, you in first place and it's somebody that's ready to pass you on the last lap, but you got a blue turtle just waiting on them. That's how I feel. What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes here, back with another action figure review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts Final Form Cooler. Let's get into it. Now starting off with that sexy packaging, it does fit Cooler's color scheme. We do have the white and purple for all of the colors. You do have Cooler right here in a dope pose. I think this is him using either the Death Beam or the Supernova. We've got the window package where we can see the figure and my does this thing look good. We have Cooler Final Form right there, the Tamashii Nation's quality sticker, Toei sticker, Dragon Ball Z, Tamashii Nation's Bandai, ages 15 and up. Then we do have some poses of course along the sides as always, his fist right there, the upper body, his tail, it says Cooler Final Form at the bottom. Nothing much going on on this side at the bottom right here. It does say Cooler Final Form with a dope pose of him just kind of looking menacing right there uh, once again the top then of course the back we do have all different kinds of poses we can get this figure into as well as all the legal stuff that I can't read so that being said let's bust this guy open because man am I excited for this one now straight out of the packaging I'm pretty sure 99.99999 percent of Dragon Ball collectors automatically knew that once this guy went up for pre-order, it's time to jump on it. I don't think this is one you really had to explain to anyone because this is a figure that no one was expecting. And my, did it turn out phenomenal. This thing looks and feels awesome. Now, funny enough, the first thing that I noticed straight out of the package was how big this dude's feet are yo like that is the first thing i noticed straight out of the package my boy got the size 16 shaquille o'neal three toe slippers bro these <laughs> I, they went all in on this dude's feet and i'm not gonna sit here and just talk about it but man it's very noticeable at least to me but overall <laughs> back to the figure the detail on this guy is just it's awesome man like this guy looks dope i know a lot of us hate the fact that tamashi nations most of the time goes without adding shading but there is shading on this guy and i'm pretty sure you can even see it uh it's right here along his calf muscles or thighs you can see shading in there uh, a little bit right around this midsection there's some in the shoulders the bicep um all different kinds of mixed areas i feel like there's a hint of blue in here maybe my eyes are deceiving me i don't know maybe i wish it so bad and since it's white i can barely tell but i don't know it looks good there's a ton of detail on this guy like there's a bunch of like sculpted i guess like i don't know if you want to call them scratches or or what but like a bunch of grittiness to the the type of armor that he has I think mine, I'm guessing this is a paint splotch right here. Hopefully I can get that off. I'm pretty sure it is. I really hope that that comes off because if not, that's going to suck. Um, but yeah, other than that, this guy just looks really, really dope. The plastic, once again, you can tell it was made in Vietnam. I can confirm that, by the way, uh, because it still feels different than most of the other SH figure arts we've gotten. But that's not a bad thing. This guy doesn't feel fragile. He doesn't feel flimsy. Um, I've messed around with him a little bit. The articulation seems to work very well. This is just a, a very well put together figure, man. I, I, they, they knocked this out of the park in so many ways. I like this thing a lot. But anyway, I could brag about that all day. Let's go ahead and put him back so we can see how tall he stands. Now, to the top of his head, Cooler stands at about six and a half inches. Now, that's to the top of his brow, actually. But to the top of his head, he is right at about eight inches, possibly a little bit over. It's hard to tell because these things curve, but we're just going to say eight inches. So, technically, he's a tall figure, basically. That's all that really matters. And for those wondering, I was able to get that paint splotch off of the mouth. Basically, all I did was apply a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I rubbed it in with a piece of toilet paper, and it came right off. So, yeah, don't have to worry about that either. And now moving on to that fun part, the articulation. Cooler looks up not very much, but enough. 
you can get his head to go back about that much as you can see it's going to come out of moving the neck right here because this piece is lifted up but the only problem is if you lift too much there will be a gap in there so be wary of that um he looks down a whole lot better than he looks up uh now with these shoulder pads they actually hinge on they move in and out so you don't have to worry about those being in the way too much in case you want to get him kind of tilting his head a little bit it's not going to be very effective but it is possible so you're not going to get much expression out of this guy but what would you expect when you've got four horns sticking out of his head that just go anywhere but anyway as far as bringing his arms in you can bring them in about this much i don't think you can bring it any further than that and that is because of the butterfly joints but what's hindering it is this big chest piece right here and also these pieces so you're not going to be able to do much more than that but that's fine i mean they went with what they had to work with i'm okay with it he does have bicep swivel double jointed elbows he can totally flex no problem now his hands are on a ball peg i'm sure pretty easy going ball peg and it looks like it's very sturdy too so yeah you can move that around just fine no problem he does have a very good diaphragm joint he leans back about that much he leans forward wow a lot more than i was expecting so yeah you do get rocker and everything and then right here at the waist it works even more so look at that that is sick he can twist and turn no problem now one thing that i did find out from my boy david barry shout out to david barry his name's it's just barry on instagram go follow him he's a really good dude that is my guy um now he can kick forward about this much no problem but if you tilt him downward he can't kick forward so the reason I'm telling you guys this is because you could get so excited posing this guy, you could, I don't know, make him want to touch his toes or something. Do not do that because if you force this forward without realizing it can't move, you could possibly break that waist joint. So don't. When you crunch him forward, this leg does not, neither of these legs move forward. When you move him back, it's just fine. So be careful with that. I just wanted to mention it because he told me that. So once again, shout out Just Barry. Um, but yeah, as far as a swivel right here at the thigh, you do get that. Double jointed knees. He can bring his leg back about that much, which I think that's fine. Um, as far as the feet go, they go down about that much, up about that much. You do get rocker a little bit. Not as effective as I would want it to be. Maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to rotate this piece to see if it'll rotate on it. Yes, actually. So if you rotate this piece around, you can get it to move a little bit better if you want to pose him, I don't know, like with his leg spread powering up. You can, but you just kind of got to wiggle that joint around. Once again, be careful with that. This is a figure you do not want to break. But um, yeah, overall, articulation-wise, I think they did everything the best that they could do. I wish his arms could come in a little bit further, but still, that is fine, and I'm happy with it. Now, moving on to the articulation of the tail. First off, this thing pegs in nicely. This is not going anywhere. You really have to pull it out on this guy versus figures like Frieza and Android 21, where they just kind of pop out sometimes. This one is in, and once you put it on, you can hear it click. It does hinge up and down. You can turn it, of course, move it pretty much all around however you want. And then there is another hinge right here where you can move that forward. Uh, I thought this swiveled, but I mean, I guess it would have been pointless to add that. But um, yeah, you can move his tail good enough. You can pretty much pose it however you want. You can have it sticking out to the side, behind him. Not so much on the ground, but you can have it hanging low. So that's awesome as well. Now for accessories, you don't get a whole lot with this guy, but you definitely get enough. I consider the tail an accessory just because it came separate, but if you don't want to count it as one, I would completely understand. Uh, he comes with a pair of fist hands and his masked up face, which is the perfect time to be masked up. Some people need to realize that. He comes with a pair of death beam or supernova hands, whichever you want to use them for, and it's cool because he comes with 
two of these instead of just one like Frieza. Frieza actually comes with two, but I think they're both for one hand. He comes with a pair of reaching, grabbing, stylish pose hands, and then he comes with another pair of reaching, grabbing, stylish pose hands. Not really where he's doing any kind of blast where the hands are more, the fingers are more spread out. These are kind of curved in, and I think this is something they've been doing a lot with their figures lately. They haven't been giving them the same blast hands, and I'm fine with that. I'm always up for new hands. Now, as far as other interchangeable parts, you do get these claw-like feet these i don't know look like gargoyle feet <laughs> but this is for when he is like floating in the sky or whatever you want to use him for stomping goku <laughs> whatever but uh yeah and the peg hole in these is pretty huge so i feel like these are going to click on just fine but lastly you do get a face of him just smiling before he puts his mask on and it's cool that they included this because Honestly, I think he was like this maybe five seconds when he powered up into this form. He literally smiled and then the mask covered his face. So the fact that they included this just goes to show that they really are trying to add as much as they can to the accessories department. And I appreciate that. This is something they could have easily skipped out on. And I doubt anyone would have even thought anything of it. So great job on Tamashii Nation's part for including this. Moving on to some size comparisons, here he is standing next to an SH Figure Arts Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku, the SH Figure Arts Proud Namekian Warrior Piccolo, and the SH Figure Arts Kid Gohan. Next up here he is standing next to an SH Figure Arts First Form Frieza, which did release earlier this year. We have the SH Figure Arts Final Form Frieza, which actually just got a re-release slated for February. Go pre-order that if you haven't. And then the SH Figure Arts Bardock, which also released earlier this year. Now, one thing that's crazy to me is that Cooler looks a lot more menacing in his final form and Frieza looks a lot, I don't know, nicer in his final form or a lot less scary rather. And I always thought that that was very interesting. Taking a look at Cooler standing next to some bigger figures, here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Butter, which I actually just got in the mail and I love this thing, and the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Broly, which... I don't know where my movie Broly is. That's the one I was looking for. I wanted to compare him to that one, but I don't know. I'll find it, and maybe I'll show it in the pictures at the end of the video. But yes, here he is standing next to two taller figures, and he's actually shorter than both of them. Lastly, for some random figures, here he is standing next to a McFarlane two-pack Red Hood, the Jazzwares Fortnite 8-Ball, and then a Marvel Legends Gamerverse PS4 Spider-Man. Now, I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. This figure is a no-brainer if you like dragon ball at all and you collect the dragon ball line this is one i do not recommend passing on and i don't think that a lot of people did tamashi nations they went all in on this figure they attacked it from every angle and it it just shows like this it i can't think of a gripe if i was to say one thing I wish they would have did differently was maybe added a bit of blue shading to the white to make the figure pop a little bit more, but I mean, they have a budget. You can't ask for everything. Beggars can't be choosers. So I'm not going to complain about that. They added the detail. They added shading to the purple. They added extra sculpt work to the outfit. His accessories look great. The paint looks great. It's a clean figure. The articulation is superb. There is no, there will never be another better, cooler figure than this. Unless they do like a, a 2.0 of this, and I don't see why they would. This is one of those figures where it's not necessary to make a 2.0. And I, I don't see them tackling this one again. Maybe an SDCC repaint, but at this point, this is perfect. This is legit perfect. And this just makes me happy. I really hope that they continue to make more movie characters. I would love to see a Bojack Janimba, give me Janimba. I'm talking final form, purple and red Janimba that got beat up by Gogeta. Give me him. Give me, I will take any of them at this point. As long as they continue to kill it like this, drop these bangers after, just drop them, Tomashi Nations. I'm happy. Like, this is, this is it. When it's not a Goku figure, usually I'm happy. <laughs> and I'm so happy. I'm trembling over my words right now. So, you guys get it. This is, this is it, man. This is the wave right here. I really, really hope 
we get his his uh, first form that he was in pretty much the majority of the movie. I really hope we get that. I would love his squad. Um, Salzar would be dope. I think Demoniac will fit made him, so it's, it's possible, but we ain't going to discuss that right now. This guy is it, guys. Um, seriously, all, all jokes aside, if you haven't gotten this figure, get it. If you see it right now listed online for 140 150 get it because... I guarantee you around this time next year, this guy is going to be $250, $300, maybe even $400. It just happens with Dragon Ball releases. So anyway, that's enough rambling. You guys get the point. Add this guy to your collection. Now, overall, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day and stay safe wherever you are. Bye.